Good morning, my ship family. Martina from Argentina, from the Serenade of the Seas. I took a little break there last week to get my handle on the new responsibilities I have in minimum manning. And I've been taking upon myself to organize a Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve party here for the Serenade of the Seas crew and the Group 3 crew still remaining on board. So I've been super busy and that's gonna be on my next video actually how we're gonna spend the holidays but on today's video of course i wanted to share with you how my regular day-to-day -day schedule is like on a minimum manning ship as a broadcast technician So the fun fact number one for anyone in the Royal Caribbean family or in the ship life that know about the organization of a ship, I'm basically the only one crew member working right now, part of the entertainment division or the cruise division. So I don't have a head broadcast technician, which would be my supervisor. I don't have a cruise director. I don't have even a hotel director on this ship. Basically, I'm reporting directly to the staff captain. And what I'm in charge of, since we don't have a lot of entertainment going on, of course, I'm not gonna dwell into what I do normally when guests are on board, because I can't really show you precisely, because we are not holding any activities. So we're gonna leave that for when we return to service. But right now, well, I'm keeping the crew entertained, let's say. So I'm keeping the TV running I'm keeping the satellites working for some of the channels that we get live of course and just playing movies for the crew to be entertained on the TV and as well on the big screen on the pool deck and I have taken upon myself to try to organize other entertainment activities like music nights on the open deck which as I said before is our preferred place to socialize since we can be without masks over there as we maintain social distance since we are a green ship after last week's PCR test that we held on board. So I do that a little bit with the HR and other volunteers from group 3 and from the crew as well. Other than the entertainment I'm basically helping a lot with the environmental side of the ship and keeping the ship up running and healthy as you can tell the ship being empty can pose a threat to some of the systems that are used to being running constantly one of the main ones is the pipes we need to keep the water running so nothing strange builds up in the pipes and for everything to be in working conditions when we go back to service so basically I'm gonna divide my tasks that I'm gonna show you today into daily weekly and monthly my daily tasks are of course sending emails sending reports of the entertainment crew that I have here on group 3 and reports of my equipment and of course we are upgrading and maintaining and doing inventories and getting new movies and playing them so basically i have to do a little bit of that every day and just internal emails of little things that we're organizing with the crew then on a weekly basis i am doing the flushing of different areas of the ship different crew members got assigned different areas i am helping with the bars in some of the venues around the ship and the adventure ocean venues which for royal caribbean is our kids club again is part of the entertainment team and i'm the only one here so i'm basically taking care of the sports adventure ocean cruise division in, in an administrative sense. And basically I have to report and log everything that I do. And finally, monthly, I have other inspections like flammable locker inspections for these departments that I'm taking care of. And I basically just have to upload documents and logs of the things that I'm doing. Not too exciting, but I keep myself busy, as I said, trying to take my best care of the crew here on board. And well, of course, we also socialize at night, so I'll show you that later. But for now, we're gonna start the day by getting my temperature checked for the morning. Of course, one of the staples of the COVID reality is, well, your mask collection. So let's choose one that matches what I'm wearing today. Of course, it's gonna be camouflage, because I don't know how to match colors. I just do monochrome outfits. And with that, we would be ready to start the day. But of course, I don't need to wear it unless I cross paths with somebody less than six feet. So I can just go through the corridors without wearing it. So let's get my temperature checked. Hold on, you might be wondering why I'm wearing different clothes. Well, that's the fun of the job. I get called randomly and I may get a super busy day when I don't expect it. Uh, so it's a new day, but let's go anyways, shall we? As you can see, not all the lights are on because we are uh, saving an energy. So corridors can be a little bit scary, but hey, living my best guest life over here. Oh 
All right, temperature check done. Uh, next stop, uh, the office. And I'm actually using the cruise staff office for my morning things, like sending emails and such. Because as I said, my office can be quite cold and loud with all the servers. I'll show you later in the afternoon. But for now, I'm feeling like the big boss here in this office. Signing paperwork, sending emails, answering to calls. And yeah, that would be my morning basically. Next stop, the broadcast room on deck 11, my lair. And I always come this way so I can take some fresh air without the mask and as well check that my video wall is working properly. Let's take a look. Yep, during the day I play some sorts for the people that come out for a smoke to be able to enjoy some entertainment and play some chill music. I do enjoy having the ship to ourselves. It's quiet, can be lonely, but it has an interesting point to it. Here we go. In we go. Here we are in the broadcast room, my humble office. It's a little bit loud, it's quite cold, but I like it. So, first things first. Hoodie. So, what sort of things I do here? Well, I take care of my equipment. I play some movies over here, I upload movies there, I check that my satellites are working properly and I have signal. I will check my receivers over here and I'll just make sure that all my channels are working. back there for a moment. Take 12. You must be wondering, Martina, why would a broadcast technician be flushing toilets? Well, as I said, we need to keep the pipes with the running water and I'm in charge of all the cruise division, including Adventure Ocean. So here we are, going in, it's closed out of use. Doing my part. 